Hey everybody, I'm back from the Oktoberfest that we had at the Renaissance Festival here in Shakopee in the southern Twin Cities today. I uh, managed to get back from all the traffic and as I promised yesterday I would be uh, talking today about uh, a German beer. Now uh, here's a traditional uh, what we here in the States we call a beer stein which in German would mean stone, which no doubt refers to the fact that this is stoneware. Uh, but the funny thing is, uh, uh, when I was in Germany, uh, and I referred to one of these as a Stein, or a Stein uh, is how you'd say it in the South, in Bavaria, uh, they looked at me funny because they don't call it, they don't call these, they, they don't call a beer mug uh, a Stein or a Stein in, in Deutschland. They just don't do it. They call it a Krug. It's just a mug. All right, but today, and even though this would actually be a perfectly good um, container to enjoy a German wheat beer in, uh, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate uh, a traditional Weizen glass. Weizen meaning wheat or a Weiss beer glass, same thing. Weiss means white or wheat. And uh, we'll go ahead and pour that, and I'll show you the correct way to do that. Tip your glass a little bit, pour it the way you normally would, preventing too much head, just the right amount. And then you leave just maybe three quarters of an inch left in there, swish it around a little bit. And that, what that does is it, it, it mixes up the sediment on the bottom, which is largely yeast. Some people um, erroneously refer to wheat beers as unfiltered not true. They actually do filter out the yeast just like they do in all other beer processes. It's just that in the final stage they actually add yeast back in, which is what gives it gives it its um, both its flavor and its color and all of this this beautiful uh, cloudiness that goes throughout the whole thing. You can see it very active in there. You hold up the light, you can see it. I'll go ahead and try that for you. Man, that's good. I'll tell you what. This happens to be a Hofbräu. Some people might call it Hofbräu, but Hof is courtyard, and um, Bräu means brew, so it's courtyard brew. This has been around for hundreds of years, and uh, it's one of the one of the main uh, constituents of the original. Oktoberfest in Munich. I've been there, I guess, three or four times. By the way, it's hard to get into those beer tents now because so many people coming from all over Europe and all over the world. You got to get there first thing in the morning and then you have to stay there all day. Otherwise, if you leave, you won't be able to get back in again. But what I like about Hofbräu, uh, they use the, the strain of yeast that I really like. It's Bavarian. It's from South Germany and it has banana notes. Now, it has nothing to do with bananas, as I said yesterday. It's just the particular flavor that comes out of that. And um, there are a lot of uh, micros, uh, craft breweries here in the United States that actually import that yeast from Bavaria and they use it in, in the recipes here and you'll get that same delicious flavor. I'm gonna try some more. Man, I bet you wish you had one. You know what? Um, the very first favorite that I had in this type was back in, uh, it was in 1989 when I was stationed in Augsburg, Germany, and, uh, and that, that was Hacker Shore, Hacker Shore, and that is also one of the chief, uh, breweries that, that, uh, is represented at the, um, at the Oktoberfest in Munich. And I actually have some pretty cool mugs and glasses from there. And I'll show you those. So here, this is this is a commemorative edition. This is pretty cool. What's really unique about this one is this was, um, I'm trying to, yeah, that was in 2001 when I was there. And it's pretty, pretty neat because that was the 100th anniversary of, of what they call the Broy Rosel, um, and it was the 65th anniversary uh, that that the uh, the Haida family 
um, was there and and owned the Hackershaw Brewery. Anyway, that's I guess that that's a, a full liter mug or krug. Or if you're American, you can call it a Stein, but they won't call it that over there. Well, I'm pretty sure I got a Weizen glass for, that's also from Hackershore, but I won't uh, spend any time looking that up. In any case, uh, there are there are all kinds of German wheat beers. Uh, I mean, that, that have other types of yeast that, that have different flavors. Try them all and see which one's your favorite. See you next time.